Hello students, in previous videos we studied what are amines and its few chemical reactions and its basicity. Now we will see what is the reactions with nitrous acids and its applications. Okay, first one uh, that is the reactions with uh, reactions of amines with nitrous acids. How this nitrous acids is going to react with primary amine, secondary amine and tertiary amine will study. Let us see first that is primary amine. At lower temperature primary amines dissolved in a strong acids either may be with HCl or with sulfuric acid which reacts with nitrous acids at lower temperature around 0 to 5 degree Celsius which forms a water soluble diazonium salts okay so when you have the aniline hydrochloride instead of taking amines that is amine and amine is uh, c6h5nh2 when it is treated with acid or base which forms the uh, that is salts aniline hydrochloride when it is treated with nitrous acid that is hno2 here it is given uh, we written as hono okay and presence of sodium nitrate are, are H, uh, and HCl which gives the benzene diazonium chloride. Similarly, if it is at higher temperature uh, where which gives the phenol and uh, there will be elimination of nitrogen. If you treat the aniline hydrochloride with the nitrous acids, so which produces the phenol and by the removal of nitrogen gas that is about the reactions with primary amines. We will see the reactions with secondary amine, how it reacts. When you treat the secondary amine, you can see this is the nitrogen which is substituted or where two, nitro, two hydrogens are replaced. That is one is with the methyl group, another is with the C6H5, namely that is N-methyl aniline. That is the example for secondary amine. When you treat this with nitrous acid with this, once again this proton is going to replace by NO group. As a result, we are going to get N nitroso. This is the N where it is, which is substituted by the nitroso group N nitroso, N methyl. This is the methyl group N methyl and this is the aniline. We will get the N nitroso, N methyl aniline. Now we will see the third reaction that is when tertiary amine which treated with nitrous acid what is the product going to form so example for the tertiary amine is n in dimethyl aniline so where nitrogen is in ammonia where three hydrogens are replaced by three alkyl groups that is ch3 ch3 and c6h5 that is the n n dimethyl aniline when it is treated with nitrous acid in presence of hydro hydrochloric acids where NO group is attached at the ortho para position, para position. As a result, we are going to get para nitroso N-N dimethyl aniline. Para nitroso, this is at para position, para nitroso N-N dimethyl, N-N dimethyl aniline. Okay, that is about the reactions with tertiary amine. So, we will see the synthetic applications of benzene diazonium chloride. So, we already seen that uh, few reaction. So, when we get the product, we always think of the application. So, instead of uh, without getting the application, we, are, we won't study that reaction, right? So, we will see what is the applications of this uh, reaction. So, from that diazonium chloride, we are going to get the benzene. So, one can synthesize the benzene. This is a diazonium chloride. When you treat this diazonium chloride with hypophosphorus acid in presence of water and cuprous which reduces where reduction reaction takes place as a result we are going to get benzene that is useful for the synthesis of benzene. Similarly, which can be also used for the synthesis of Phenol. So, that reaction we already seen in previous slide only. When you treat this diazonium chloride at higher temperature in presence of water, where reduction takes place, where this group is going to reduce as a result, which get converted into phenol by the elimination of nitrogen gas. And the synthesis of halobenzene, that is the Sandmeyer reaction. 
that is heating the aqueous solution of benzene when you treat this sodium diazonium chloride. Diazonium chloride, benzene diazonium chloride in presence of cuprous halides. Here it is example given as cuprous chloride. You can take any other example at higher temperature. This group is replaced by halogen. So, like we will get the chlorobenzene instead of that. If you take on bromo groups, so bromo substitution you will get the bromo benzene, iodo benzene etc. Okay. Similarly, another reaction you can see this is for the bro here it should be bromo, we will get the bromo benzene as a product. And the one more application is which is used for the synthesis of azo compounds. Okay. So, that is the reaction. Uh, it reacts with aromatic compounds consisting a strong electron releasing group such as hydroxy group, amino group or uh, secondary uh, amines to give azo compounds. Uh, this reaction is known as coupling reaction. So, where two molecules uh, which get coupled to give the coupled product that is the azo compound. So, this they have NN that is NN double bond then such compounds are called as azo compounds. We are going to get the para hydroxy azo benzene when you treat the benzene diazonium chloride with phenol at pH 9 to 10. So, that will be a alkaline. Okay, if it is weakly alkaline in that uh, condition reaction takes place we will get the para hydroxy azo benzene. Similarly, uh, one more coupling reaction that is NN dimethylaniline which gives the para dimethylene, uh, dimethylene azobenzene. Okay, so when you treat that is benzene diazonium chloride with NN dimethylaniline which gives the para dimethyl amino azobenzene. So, at the para position, there is a dimethyl group you can see. So, similarly here coupling takes place, we will get the coupled product. Okay, that is about the few applications of this diazonium chloride. Thank you.